What is good, my YouTube family? Thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, thank you guys for taking time out of your busy days. And I hope you're having a wonderful summer so far. Let's get into today's video topic. And that's going to be meditation. I'm gonna list off five benefits a meditation has in your life. And since I'm a fitness guy, I'm gonna throw some fitness in there. So let's get into it. First benefit, increased mental clarity. So I've been med med meditating. meditating for about two years uh, on and off. Um, I would say it's a consistent piece of my life now, but I wouldn't say it's something I do every day, hands down, no problem, because like I said, I had bad days too. It's been a tough year, so clearly I needed meditation more than ever. And um, recently just got back into my good graces, you know, got some got some progress going on in my life now. And, you know, I just decided I need to revisit this. I need to get my brain straight, like we're going into another opportunity. Um, this is the time to restructure your brain. And I feel like meditation gives you that ability to reset your mind, your stresses, just resets in 10 minutes. All you need is really 10 minutes. Five minutes might work. I prefer 20 to 30 minutes because the longer meditation sessions are amazing. But I apologize, I went off on a tangent. The increased mental clarity will just give you the ability to think more clearly. Um, when you're meditating, it gives you time, like you sit there with your thoughts. So during the day, there's a lot of stimulus, like phones, uh, what is it, media, YouTube, TV, Netflix, TikTok, Instagram. There's so much stimulus out here um, that we barely have even enough time to be with ourselves or with our brains, like our literally just ourselves. So you might have a partner, you might have babies, you might have animals, dogs, like, I mean, that's a little different, but you might be a busy person. So busy people need meditation the most, in my opinion, because they're juggling billions of thoughts on a regular basis. And the increased mental clarity you get from just sitting with your thoughts and letting them flow, and then you get to the point where you're focusing on your breath, which means these thoughts are just, they're thoughts. They're not going to, they're not going to change your direction. So once you understand that they're just thoughts and they're gonna happen regardless, like you're able to just, oh, that's an interesting thought, move on, because it's just a thought. You don't have to react on it. Um, you don't follow impulses as much. You're able to be more aware of your surroundings. You're able to be more aware of your own your own body. And I believe the best leaders can lead themselves the best. So that's one, that's one benefit. And I think that's the most important benefit because I absolutely, I'm doing this YouTube video because I meditated yesterday. Like, I don't know if, it's a big deal to me, but I don't know if people understand that. I have a hard time with consistency, but when I meditate, I'm able to do things that I don't want to do because it's like, I don't know. I think this shit is better than this. Meditation is better than drugs. It's just hard to do because you have to be consistent with it. Um, but I tell you, give yourself 30 days that like you may not do it for the rest of like every single day for the rest of your life. But I guarantee you, you're going to be like... Random day in February, you stressed out. You're like, you know, you know what? Uh, let me meditate before I go to bed. And I'm telling you, it's just a great habit. It's just like journaling, I need to journal. It's something I've been, I need, I need to do myself. It's another great habit. And meditation, I think, is one of those top tier habits next to journaling that you just should incorporate. Five minutes, ten minutes. Get in your car, meditate, sit there, close your eyes, put on some like soothing music. Whatever you got to do, just make it happen. Oh, we have stress reductions. Stress reduction. So again, this is the same thing along the lines of increased mental clarity. When you have, um, when you meditate consistently, you'll start noticing like the world just feels like it's a vibe. Like you start to feel like the world's a vibe. I go, like I'll go, I always like to go on hikes when I, after I start having a little meditation session because for me it's like, it's a different, like my paradigm shifting when I'm meditating consistently. So I'll take, I'll take a little trip to nature because I like to be in nature. Like I'm an animal, we're all animals. So we actually should be in nature. And I like to be around the water, trees, animals, bugs, name it. And in this time, I'm able to like really feel the energy and feel alive. Like I feel like a real live human. Sometimes I don't feel like a human because again, our brains are like transferred into these devices and then it's gone for a long time. And I've had a, I've had a terrible, I've, I've struggled really bad. Like I'm gonna be honest, this is, this is self-reflection. I've struggled really bad with social media my entire life. I've struggled with cellular, like phones, iPhones. I've struggled with them. Like I'm not, I'm not very good with iPhones or just technology in general. And what I mean by this is um, the mental health aspect that these devices have brought into my life, I can tell has slowed me down greatly. But 
it's gonna propel me even further because um, the technology is still amazing. I, I'm not going to blame the technology. I'm just going to blame how I receive the technology. And by meditating, it just gives me more power and control over myself, which is what I want. I don't want devices controlling me. I don't want people controlling me. I don't want uh, entities controlling me. I don't want anything controlling me other than myself. That way I'm able to make the best possible decision at the time. Because somebody's controlling me and I don't like the decision, we're gonna have a we're gonna have an issue. Go to the third, the, the next topic, because I might be here for a while. If you can hear that car um, in the background, uh, I apologize, but I'm not gonna stop this video because I gotta get this done. Improved recovery and sleep quality. So again, these are all sort of linked. Um, improved recovery is linked to sleep. So like if you sleep consistently, like if you get eight hours of sleep, your recovery is gonna be on point because your body, your cells are able to repair themselves while you're sleeping. Now, um, improved sleep quality. Clearing out your thoughts improves your sleep, makes it easier to sleep. Put on some uh, delta waves or some beta waves while you're listening, or it's white white noise. Um, you got a lot of options out here, but um, somebody tells me they can't sleep anymore. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna ask about their sleep routine. I'm like, what you do an hour before bed? I need to know, because if you give your body an hour before bed, that melatonin is gonna be like, hello. Well, as long as you got sunlight in the morning, there's a whole process. I, I oh, that's my next video. I got you. Your sleep quality will improve. The more you meditate, the more you make it a habit because your body will start to get used to the process. Again, we are animals, so having some sort of routine on a daily basis is crucial, crucial for your mental health because there is too much stimulus and I'm here to save y'all. I'm here to save all of you. Everybody who I've ever met in life, anybody who I don't know, I love all of you. And even if I don't love you, I still love you because you're a human on this planet at the same time I am. So I appreciate our time on this earth and I'm going to leave this for my people. Um, I'm not sure how many people will watch this, but I appreciate you if you do watch it. And drop a comment below, have you meditated? Do you do something other than meditation? What's your source of meditation? How do you stay insane, insane? How do you stay sane in this wild world? All right, let's go to the fourth one. Um, the fourth topic will be enhanced mind-body connection. This is where gym comes in. This is where gym comes in. This one is where the gym comes in. I like to do, I like to play basketball. I am a, I'm not a hooper by any means. I'm just a basketball fan. And uh, every, well, once on my off days, I'll play for an hour to two hours. Um, just shooting around really, getting layups, you know, just working on, my game but i'm not out there trying to be like an nba player or a college player i don't even talk trash on the court i just really like shooting like i just love shooting a basketball it's just so much fun um it's it's hard to do i mean it's not hard but once you figure it out it's still fun you're just trying to be consistent and i just love that that whole process uh, which is why i train in the gym all the time so um with the enhanced mind to muscle connection i'm able to like I mean, I can just feel my body better. Like, it's there's no way to really explain this um, other than mentioning a workout. When you're doing a workout and you have that mind to muscle connection, once you once you like get in the zone and you can feel it, yeah, that's basically what I can do on command now because I know how to activate the muscles. I know how to contract my muscles when I'm doing a curl. I know how to contract my muscles when I'm doing a squat. I know what muscles need to be activated. I know how a squat should feel because all of this enhanced mind to muscle connection. This all develops once you start meditating on a consistent basis. So um, try it out, try it out. If you, if you start lifting a thousand pounds deadlift tomorrow because of this little tip, although you need a lot of technique in that, uh, <laughs> let me know because that, that, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be crazy. And then we got increased motivation and adherence. So look at this, look at this. I just mentioned this earlier in the video. I said I didn't, I like, I was not, I, I made a YouTube video yesterday, I uploaded it, and then I made another one today, and I uploaded it. I promise you, I've had my YouTube account for seven something years. I just started getting serious on this account recently, and I've never done that. I've never uploaded two actual YouTube videos in a single day, or in two, back to back, two days in a row. So I'm like, oh, there's a hint of consistency here. I just want you guys to know that we are very powerful humans, like very powerful humans. I mean, I think we're the only humans on this planet. I don't think there's another type. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we are we are powerful as humans. Our mind is like, look at, look at everything around here. Look at everything that's outside. Look at the sculptures and the, the pyramids, the buildings, the creations that come that 
that we don't even know how to explain. Like, we don't know who, who dropped that out here. So there's a lot our brains can do. And I honestly wholeheartedly believe, even though technology is a great device, I think it's just holding our brains back because there's so much creativity that my brain exudes on a daily basis. I'm just gonna start making, um, making YouTube videos just to get it out. So if y'all like rants, don't subscribe. If y'all like rants, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate your time. Let me know which one of the five were your favorite. Um, let me know what you need in your life, uh, mental clarity wise or mental health wise. I'd love to have this discussion. I think mental health is crucial, especially in today's society with all these wild acts, these wild stories and wild activity happening. But there's a lot of beauty and good in the world and it's all inside our bodies. So thank you very much for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on all the socials. I'll drop it in the comments section and let me know if you guys need help with any other videos. I'll make that sleep one next. Or if you want that sleep one, let me know. Let me know if y'all want some sleep tips um, or morning routines. I'm pretty good at morning routines and the evening routines. My afternoon needs work. So if y'all have afternoon tips, let me know. I do afternoon walk, but I don't, I need to like, yeah. All right, all right, thanks.